researcher there and bought a diamond python to the zoo because it's eaten one of our radio collared pygmy possums, little eastern pygmy possum. Well, one of our co-workers was out radio tracking and he radio tracked the signal down to a, um, a small tree. Normally the possums live in tree hollows, and so this little tree didn't have a hollow in it. And he was looking all throughout the tree and was thinking, this is not a tree that a possum should be in. And he, sh he said, I should be able to see the possum. And uh, eventually he kept looking and just in the top of this small tree he could see a, a strange shape and he realised it was a, a small python. Cool. Cool. So I, don't, I don't feel anything that feels remotely like a, a radio tracking the collar. Like it's got a wire antenna about that long. So this is a difficult one. It's a smaller snake that we've had in the past. Um, and you would think that would make it far easier to detect something like a little radio collar uh, stuck inside, but uh, we can't see anything on the x-ray, I can't feel anything in the snake, so now it's a matter of uh, double checking and confirming that the snake is still transmitting, if so, then we're probably going to have to do a little bit further um, diagnostic work to work out where, where the uh, track is.